Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again with another Marvel Legends figure review and today we have from the Disney Plus Marvel Studios uh, series Miss Marvel from Miss Marvel and there you have uh, the figure I I'm, I wasn't I, this show was not the one which I liked the most I must say I, I enjoyed it but it was like okay it's, it's just yeah it was entertaining but it wasn't like wow for me, uh, but she comes with the big, the largest part of the Infinity Ultron build a figure wave from the What If show. I really like how she has like shiny metallic paint or plastic, whatever it's, it is. We'll check that in a moment. Here you have like the official artwork, like photoshopped artwork, whatever. The rest of the wave with each piece they come with, and if you want it, you can read the bio now. You can pause it here and check the Kamala Khan info. Yeah, and legal stuff, whatever, the packaging we know and we might be losing very soon. Uh, yeah, let's take her out and see how good she actually is. So there we have the Miss Marvel figure or MS Marvel figure out of the packaging and looking good. But sadly, this figure is riddled with a couple of problems. But yeah, you can see at least this blue plastic here because I think is no paint on it it's just like uh, the way of the, the plastic looks or maybe it has paint on it that's the the inner side yeah I think it's just like metallic blue plastic you know softer I don't know if that's the PVC or the ABS or which is which I don't know I'm not an expert in that but uh, you can see also I wanted to show you that she has a double ball peg and this one is done I think mostly or really right, you know, I mean, could be better, maybe if the, as some people say, <laughs> if we turn like the larger ball here in the neck and just uh, with a little bit more clearance there, just minimal, I think it's, well, actually, or maybe that's enough, you know, the closer you get it to the top of the neck, the more clearance you have, and of course, the more the larger you make this uh, circle inside you, the actual clearance of the ball or, or the of the peg, you have more range of motion. The thing is still the figure will be limited by the hair, but otherwise that neck would be nicely executed. Here you have her like scarf thingy and it just gets in there, fits nicely. Well, of course, it's for this figure. It's all, uh, I guess, a new sculpt or a, a sculpt just for this figure. Anyway. There you have her, like, uh, you get the head in there, maybe it's sitting a bit high on that neck, maybe, but you don't get to see that much because of the hair, but yeah, maybe it is a bit high on the neck, I don't know. Now, the and you would have range, but the hair is sculpted so that it just gets in the way, as in many cases with female figures or long-haired guys or whatever but you can look down she has attitude to the sides no lack in there and can turn all the way around the arms can lift over 90 degrees which is good she has single jointed elbows but at least she can go over 90 degrees could be better yeah or double jointed would have done a better job yeah I think the arms are a bit thin especially I mean Anyway, but it's okay. It's not the most important figure to me, but uh, if I'm getting it, I want it to be good. You know, you can see the gauntlet here. It has some sculpted detail, but it's so... Well, you can I can see it better on camera now, or through the camera, than looking at it directly. It's a bit like too soft, but on the camera I get more... It looks sharper than directly with the eye. And it's not... I don't think it's because me getting blind or something. I just think... Yeah, it focuses nicely and cool thing at least you can turn the the arm on the gauntlet. You know that's a nice addition of a cut. Weirdly, she has uh, these grabbing hands, and she only comes with a couple of fist hands as an accessory. You know, so she she has grabbing hands to grab to nothing or to every accessory from every other figure you have, but not her own, and she has vertical swivels which is good to have but i mean hawkeye needed those <laughs> not this girl and uh, not, not because she's a girl not, not this miss marvel girl you know it's good that she has it but she didn't she doesn't come with anything to to hold to you know 
uh, would be good if they gave us something or yeah it's good that we have that but why the Hawkeye figure doesn't have it and he's an archer you know things now this is a huge problem for me she has almost no range back or forward with that diaphragm cut she they gave no clearance there almost also a very slight tilt to the sides so that's a bit of a shame if you're a customizer i think you will want to pop that out and make that hole a bit larger with a dremel or something i'm seriously considering getting one but that's her waist as well i mean there's no waist below this plastic it's just a solid piece so that's your turn um this is problem number two at least for me that she only has this cut on this side and no cut on this side and that's the problem i mean you have this that helps yeah but you would need to really have an extra cut to the side to be able to to maneuver easily i mean she has range and now because i just put her into hot water and things are still a bit more flexible than right out of the packaging but uh yeah we would avoid a lot of flexing if she would have this very same cut in this side and i don't know why they didn't i don't know if that's additional cost or not whatever but it's i don't see a reason why they didn't didn't add that also you can see i didn't comment that the red plastic is also like metallic flaked and it's no paint it's just the the plastic the way of the plastic how it's made uh she can kick forward that far she can kick forward this, the, with this leg as the same, I mean, uh, just as far, but it it will be pushed down because of the lack of this cut, you know. <laughs> she has the thigh cut, which can go all the way around, no problem. The knees can bend, yeah, all the way around and are pinless, nice. Um, you have the feet that can go backwards that far, forward that far, very nice. And she has a, let's say, a, not the best ankle rocker, but it's there. I mean, maybe it's hard w when you have like smaller feet, I don't know. But yeah, but it's still there and it's always good to have ankle rocker, of course. Well, it's nothing new, yeah, but also you can see the face. I didn't comment on that. The face is nice, I must say. And I like the, the metallic paint for the, you know, the mask and the fact that it's it's of course this is paint and this is plastic it won't be the same but directly what looking at it you don't notice a difference in the tone so that's it for this uh, figure i mean it's could be better if they had this cut here as well and if they gave her had given her like range on that diaphragm you know clearance and if the yeah if she could look up look up a bit further but also i mean anyway it's i think the figure looks good even if it's not the most, for me, the most exciting of the shows and the character. So there we have the Miss Marvel figure next to Silk and Spider-Gwen, looking good. Next to the Ironheart figure and the Sakura Haruno from SH Figure Arts. Also, I mean, size-wise, he's not that lost, you know, this one. Next to Jessica Jones and America Chavez. And next to her wave mates. Hawkeye and yeah She-Hulk the only thing I don't enjoy of the She-Hulk figure is that the feet at least in my copy are not that stable I mean sometimes she tends to fall as you just saw I mean maybe because the the pegs are a bit like they are a bit I don't want to say squeaky but they wobble a bit that's and that's it for this review please leave a like share and subscribe if you found this video to be useful and entertaining that helps me a lot and i thank you in advance uh, i think the figure looks good i just uh, she needs some fixes you can do those yourself but of course it would be better if we get the figure from the get-go just to be like as close to perfect as possible but yeah she needs more range on that diaphragm definitely because she has no crunch or no uh, waist uh, ball or anything so it all depends on that i mean just to stand there she looks good but if you want to actually pose her you need more range and you need to cut that skirt from the other side just to to be able to pose the legs better but otherwise a nice looking figure and yeah great that they gave her the the swivels that this guy needs <laughs> you know why but uh i mean nothing against her but yeah it's a lack for this guy he, he's lacking those uh, vertical swivels i guess or i feel like that 
not being an, an expert, but uh, well, maybe I'm becoming one, you know, because of the amount of figures I've been gathering, as you know, or, or you as well do. Anyway, that's it for this review. Please leave a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao, ciao.